Welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop and Forge. So yesterday we got the kitchen axe to the rough forged stage. Um, the blade bit is welded in, the body of the axe is more or less shaped, it's got to be evened out, there's a significant amount of twist. We have to draw down the edge yet um, and hope it fits in the forge throughout this um, because it's pushing the air limits on what they can fit in diagonally. We might take out some of this on the pole just to give us a little more leeway. Um, and we've got to fair in this area here where there's a little bit of um, the slot from welding in the edge that's still exposed. So we'll peen that in to get a bit of a smoother transition. We'll have to do that at welding heat. Um, before we get to that though, we're going to cut this down to length so we've only got the required length because it's going to get longer still when we actually draw it out. Um, and I think there's a little bit of angle adjustment to be made in this area here. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, let's get it hot. Let's get to work.
going to be a lot of fun, so I'm going to turn the camera off for a little bit, and then we'll catch up when I'm driving. So we're now post um, heat treatment, uh, just mapping out the handle size that's required. Um, this is a piece of um, likely um, Chinese yu. Um, it makes great handles, um, very tight grained. Also, incidentally, makes quite good bows. Um, at this point, I was discussing um, the structural integrity of the welds and that I'm not quite happy.
So this is the point where we've had final fit up. Um, the handle's been sanded, preliminarily oiled, just adding a little bit of wood glue to act more like a lubricant than anything else to get the wedge in. Um, so that's what it looks like final, more or less finished. In goes the wedge, and we'll move over to the anvil for actually getting the wedge all the way in. So, if you're fitting a wedge, um, it's easiest to get it to go all the way in um, without breaking the wedge or splitting the wedge if you work down onto a hard surface. Striking this way also using inertia draws the hammerhead, axe head whatever you happen to be hanging onto a handle um, further onto the handle so you get a tighter fit so where does that leave us with a complete axe I've gone with a kitchen axe size handle um, we'll see how it works I can always make a new handle a longer handle to make it more of a woodworking tool um, currently the um, linseed oil is still drying, so yeah, fun times. Um, but yeah, that's um, part two complete. Um, not terribly happy with the welds, um, so I will probably leave it as a kitchen axe, um, just purely from a structural integrity side of things. So if you like the video, as always, hit the like button. Um, it lets me know what you guys want to see. The more likes something get, the more that sort of theme is going to get um, played up. Do share. Um, I really appreciate it when the videos get out there. Um, subscribe. It's always handy um, to know when the next video drops. Um, and as always, get out to your shop. Um, have fun, but do stay safe, and I'll catch you for the next one.